Hello my friends, welcome to my channel once again. If you're new here, I make Photoshop fun and easy to learn. In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to create this flyer inside of Photoshop. Alright, so if you've not gotten your templates, all these are templates that you see that will make your work easy and smart. Alright, so click the link in the description of this video to get yours. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on the post notification so that I don't miss any videos I'll be dropping in time for now. Without having to say much, let's get right into this. So the first thing I'll do is click on file and click on new like this. And of course, I'm going to have the name here. I'm using a 4 by 5 inches, resolution 300 and a RGB. So this is going to be Christmas flyer and um, transparent background. I'm clicking OK like this. The first thing I'm going to do, adjustment layer, solid color, and I'm not going to use white. I'm going to use this look. So you can copy the color code. It's not white. So this is the color code and click OK like this. So this is what I have. So that's step number one. All right. So I have my image centered here. The next thing I'm going to do, create a new layer and I'm going to select my brush. Make sure you're using your soft brush, 100, 100, and I'm just going to make it slightly bigger and click four times. All right, so I'm just going to move this slightly up like this. And um, of course, I'm okay with it there. I'm going to bring in the image. The link to download this image is in the description of this video. Please check the description of this video to get the link. I'm going to click on the mask. And uh, with my brush, make sure your foreground color is set to black like this. All right, black. And I'm just going to conceal the top and the bottom like this so that I have a well blended image blended to the background. Of course, that's the first step working with this image the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to change the blend mode to overlay now don't be scared you're not seeing anything it's fine All right so i'm just going to set it back to overlay and you can see when i turn off these lights i can see it clearly but that's not an issue we can actually solve this problem All right so move the light upward as you can see now i can see the image but not as clear as i would want it to be so what i would do is I'm going to move the light upward just a little bit and uh, make it smaller and click enter. Of course, you can see it has sharp edges now, so I'm just going to blow it. Click on filter, click on blow and Gaussian blow like this. And uh, when you're done, click OK, easy peasy, fast and easy. So selecting the image, I'm going to make it slightly bigger like this, move it to the center like this. Of course, it's almost not visible so let's work on that so hue and saturation click on colorize okay we made things worse but don't worry we'll get it done reduce the lightness and um, just keep it make sure you're clipping it to the image itself so let me bring up the lightness back and um, click on curves and um, increase the curves like this to make those bright areas more brighter group them like this and um, duplicate them for this one turn down the opacity right and uh, what you want to do here is reduce the opacity like this and uh, i'm going to change the blending mode for this one to multiply also reduce the fill and of course you have your perfect image that blends well with the background. So that's um, step or stage number one. Step number two, let's bring in some text like this and I'm going to type something very easy and fast. So it's going to be Feliz Natal, right? And um, I'm going to make sure I'm using a light red color. 
right? For the effect I want to have here, I'm going to use a light red color on the text. Select the two of them and I'm going to change to the font that I used, right? Now, this font is also part of the Smart Designer Premium Asset, which you get in the link in the description of this video, all right? You have a whole lot of things there. You have 3D effects and so many other things inside of the Smart Designer Premium Asset. 100 flyer templates are, that you can use for your projects and every other thing you want to do. So take advantage of it. I'm just going to move this downward so that the text is on top of it. Move the lights upward like this and you're good to go. Select the two of them and um, make it big while you move it upward like this. Before I bring in this, um, let's see. Okay, let me work on the lights. So I'm going to have this image first. And uh, a couple of adjustments I want to do on this image to make it blend with our composition. First, I'm going to make it smaller like this. And um, I'm going to sample this color here, which is this yellow color, till towards the yellow, right? I'm going to select my brush. Create a new layer, make my brush smaller, and I'm going to click twice. And I'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge add. Duplicate this, Ctrl J, and I'm going to change the blend mode for this one to screen. And last time, I'm just going to group all of them and uh, convert them to a smart object like this. And see how easy that was to light up this lamp and make it look more like a lamp. So here on saturation, I'm going to create a clipping mask and I'm going to click on colorize. I'm going to tilt towards the red. And of course, this is what I want to achieve so that it blends well with the composition itself. Convert everything to smart objects. And uh, Ctrl T, rotate this and bring this somewhere here and make this big at the edge here. Rotate this. I'm going to go to filter, blow, Gaussian blow, and I'm going to add Gaussian blow to this. Make sure you're not doing too much. So my radius is going to be somewhere around here and I'm going to click OK like this. Ctrl J to duplicate this or hold down the Alt key while you drag. And I'm going to have this here. Also, I'm going to make this bigger. Like this. Click enter. Double click on the Gaussian blow here. And increase it like this. Easy peasy. With this one also, I'm going to add some more blood to this. But just a little bit. Just a little bit. Click OK like this. And um, you're good to go. Rotate this and make this smaller. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's move on with the other things. Now I can bring in this image here. Drag it inside like this. And I'm going to have it here. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to have this here too. I'm going to bring this down here. And I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this.
klik enter om je dan. Rotate this to give um, another angle to this guy here. And um, also make this one bigger, but just make sure it doesn't cover the text. Or you can have it slightly at the tip like this and um, you're good to go. So you have our text, you have our image in the background and you have the surrounding elements. So let me select the text and I'm going to convert it to a smart object. I'm going over to blending option. And inside of blending option, I'm going to select bevel and emboss. Make sure you are using my settings, right? So you can pause for a while and copy my settings onto your Photoshop so that we can be on the same page, right? Make sure you are practicing the watch, pause and practice method. Click OK like this and um, you have this nice beveled up text. I'm going to select my text too and I'm going to draw a box here. Right? So I'm just going to paste my text here and I'm going to change the font to what I used. That would have been nice. But I'm going to settle with something more... something regular like this. Change the color to a darker color. Something here, good to go. Click OK, and uh, yeah, there you have it. So, group the images, and I'll just name these images like this. So, you can drag them down with your arrow key, like this, just like I'm doing now. Select the, the background image, which is this first image. Or well, before then, select this one and um, select the Feliz Natal and bring them down a little bit so it's not just isolated on the top like that. Select this image, go to filter, go to noise and click on add noise. Convert to smart object like this and you can see we've made a mess out of this because the amount is too much. We just want a little bit of noise right so make sure it's set to uniform and the amount doesn't go beyond this to give you that nice effect i can choose to reduce this and stay at the seven and i'm good with this so for this um rates i'm just going to be adding blow effect to it Hold down the Alt key and drag it on, on top of this to have that same effect on it. And um, of course, every other thing is nice and it's good to go. You might want to extend this and move it downward a bit. Expand, just expand this here. And... Um, that's how you create a flyer like this inside of Photoshop. If you've gained something valuable from this video, make sure you don't click away without hitting the subscribe button so that you don't get to miss any of my videos. And of course, give it, give it a thumbs up. Very, very important. It helps the algorithm refer my videos to every other person. Of course, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.